I'm Dr. Harrison from the Avian and Exotic Service. I'm this year's intern. And I'm going to show you how to approach the hospitalized bunny. So when you're approaching the bunny, again, you're trying to introduce yourself first before you pick them up. If they're highly stressed or stimulated, and then you go to pick them up, they're already in prey defense mode. So the idea is, if you can, is to calm them down, pet them, start with hiding their eyes again. And once you see them relax, and start purring, like right here. How is, you can see his face chattering. That's a rabbit purring when he's nice and relaxed. So that's what you want. And you're also introducing yourself as not being a threat. And they get used to the idea of your hands touching them. And once they're nice and relaxed, you can switch to putting their face at the crook of your arm so that they can't see what you're doing. You can get their back in that nice curved arch. You support the back and you're also supporting the feet. And then you scoop them up and hold them against your body. And then you can carry them. So with the rabbit, you want to keep them in proper anatomic position. So the idea is to keep their back arched like this. The danger for them breaking their back is when this when their back isn't arched nicely like this. So what'll happen if they have a longer spine, they have vertebrae that will match like this. What happens is if they increase the angle to here, they're at risk of breaking their back. So we want to keep their vertebrae in normal position. So for this rabbit, you would want to keep them with this type of contour. And you're picking them up out of a carrier. You would hook your fingers and you can see here's his foot coming up and there's the back of his thigh muscle so you would hook behind there and there and what that allows you to do is you support the leg and you're holding it against the body but you're also fostering maintaining this curve and you only do that for a short period of time till you get them out and while you're picking them up you're covering their eyes when they're coming out for the pet owner um, handling a rabbit and picking him up is very similar how a vet would want to do it. You still want to protect the eyes. You don't want to carry your rat with the head hanging out. Um, it's the same principle that if they get startled in any way or if people are coming up and approaching them, you still run the risk of them trying to jump out of your hands. The other thing that's important, I think, just as important as picking them up is how you put them back down because a lot of fractures can happen when the rabbit's hopping away from you. And a lot of people, they'll put the rabbit down quickly, almost and they'll do what we call the harpy grab, where they pick up through the midsection and then just plop them down. And then when the rabbit hops away from you, they'll kick. And they run the risk of angling their back in, in that way that we mentioned before, where they can break their back. So when you put a rabbit down, particularly if you're using the football hold and you're holding them close to you, the idea is you put them down and you let them get their bearings, get their feet under them, and then slowly pull away. And one of the things that I try to do, if I'm doing this, is I'll lift the back of my arm and they'll walk away. So I'm still controlling their back as they're leaving me. Prior to pickup, um, it's nice to try and calm them down. Usually a bunny who's been out playing and exploring only wants to go home of their own choosing. So one of the things people will do, particularly pet owners, is establish a pattern that at the end of every play is when they get their veggies or it's time to go home. And rabbits will learn things like home time, and they will run home because it's time for their veggies. That's the least invasive way of getting a rabbit to go home. And the other way is to establish a snuggle session. You're nice and calm. And again, I'm hiding the eyes, trying to reduce the stimulation, working my way to the back, trying to get them to calm down. And once we've been doing this for a little bit, when I can feel his muscles relax, it's going to be easier for me to scoop them into football hold. The three most important things to bear in mind when handling your rabbit is the first one would be to keep your rabbit calm. And you can achieve that through 
calmly petting them, waiting till their body is relaxed, their muscles are calm before trying to pick them up. The other would be to protect the eyes. If you reduce the visual stimuli, they're less likely to be startled. And they're also more comfortable when their eyes are covered. And then the next one would be to protect the back. And you want to keep it arched downward and you want to prevent the back from twisting. 